so here is um, a little Sephora haul that I picked up this last um, last week, I suppose. Um, I went ahead and used that 20 off $50 if you're a VIB or if you're a beauty insider, you got something in the mail from um, Sephora or you either got it through your email. In order to get my um, discount off, I had to spend more than $50 and that was no-brainer because obviously it's it's really easy to spend fifty dollars at Kat Von D's um, painted love lipstick in homegirl I swear to you oh my gosh this is super bold um, for most women to wear but I never had any kind of um, Kat Von D product so I'm super excited to there I go with the super. I'm sorry. I just can't go a video without saying it. But anyways, here is the packaging. Very chic, right? It has all these rose detailing to it. And then here is the color itself. It is a really bold color. If you are familiar with OCC um, lip tars and um, the color Black Dahlia and um, Max Cyber, then this is a color that you are going to be familiarized with and that is it right there it is a very dark plum like almost like a black cherry color and it's very very bold um it dries off i want to say like a matte finish like a satin it kind of has this sheen to it but it also has like this matte look to it as well like you can see it right there Kat Von D product, which I'm super amazed by, is the um, ta a Lock It Tattoo Concealer. This is in medium 28, right here. I'm very impressed with the Kat Von D line. Um, I'm just going to use this kind of to cover up my blemishes um, because I'm running out of my Tarte one and I kind of want to experiment with other brands and other um, textures of concealers. So we'll see how the Kat Von D works for me. item that I grabbed was this Tarte um, Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Mousse and it also comes with a double-ended uh, brush which is amazing. It is in taupe. Um, I didn't want to get the darker colors. It just looked too dark for some reason. Here is a brush right here. It comes with the angled brush and a spoolie at the end. Very, very convenient. I don't want to um, open the jar, but this is what it looks like right here. Yeah, it's one of the lighter colors um, from the three colors that it comes in. The only reason why I don't want to open this and swatch it out for you guys because I want to keep um, the longevity of this cream or this smooth because once I open it, it's just going to dry out. And another um, brand that I've been wanting to try out is Illamasqua. And so I grabbed one of their powder blushes in lover and it is this beautiful like peachy toned like almost it's very light almost kind of like a skin tone but it's just super gorgeous it's just like ugh, it's just really really nice light peachy and color hourglass i've heard so much about this product it's um the mineral primer and broad, broad spectrum SPF 15, oil free. It's the Hourglass Veil. I believe this is just a primer. There's like another one. I'm not sure um, what that one was, but I grabbed this one. Now that I'm looking at it, it looks like the wrong one, but I hope it's the right one. Uh, anywho, I'm just very, very impressed. I swatched this at um, the store. Not swatched it. I tested it out in the store, and it is amazing. It just feels so silky smooth. That is why it's so amazing. So this is 18 bucks for this tiny little thing. Um, I'm going to show you what I'm wearing on my lips. As, uh, what is this? Wet n Wild's Mocha. And this is like the size of the lipstick compared to the Hourglass. So anyways, Mocha is on my lips, by the way, if you're wondering. Right. Not least, ta-da! Yes! buddy it is the naked three palette i know i said in my last video that the Na naked basics was like the only um palette that i was gonna get from the line from the urban decay naked line but i lied um once i saw the naked three palette like 
when I actually saw the colors, I was like, oh, it's completely different from the na the other Naked uh, line. And let's show you. Oh, well, here's the packaging. I'm sure you are familiarized with how it looks. Sorry for my, like, grungy look today. It's super cold, so kind of wanted to bundle up and not look all fancy. I need to be warm. Anyways, here is the sleek packaging. Um, same packaging from the Naked 2 palette, but it's just this rose gold feel to it, and it has all these little wavy creases in it, as you can see. I haven't taken off the film, as you can see, um, because I just want to keep it as new as possible. But it comes with a dual-ended brush, just like the second one. Um, very, very convenient. Anywho, so here are the colors. Very warm tones. Just so gorgeous, right? Super, super gorgeous. I love these colors. I'm just scared that I'm going to break the packaging itself. Like... It just seems so flimsy, like, I don't know, like the plastic, or the opening is a plastic, if you can see it here. It's not like a hinge, it just looks like it's just gonna break off, because it's, I don't know, it's plastic. It's really different from the Naked 1 and the Naked 2. I don't have the palette to show you guys, unfortunately. Um, because, like I said in my, um, about the Naked Basics, I didn't purchased the first one nor did I purchase the second one because I wasn't really into those colors they were like more cool tones for the second one and the first one was more of like neutrals um I might purchase them we'll see just kind of to compare the three. downfall that I have from it is um you know how in the naked one it comes with like a urban decay primer potion and then naked two comes with like a lip gloss or something like that it comes with this which is a little booklet and it has little pods of the primer potions so as you can see it has it kind of looks like eyeglass cases and they say that each pod is up to a week like it's worth of product but I don't know I really I can't say because I can't say how much is in here anyway but it's each of their um primers. It's the one that's the original formula. It's the Eden, Sin, and then also the anti-aging one for your lids. But I would rather have like an actual product than just like these little samples. So that was kind of like a downfall. And another downfall is that they bumped up the prices for the Naked line. It used to be like $49. I remember it was even cheaper than $49 when they first came out or when Naked came out. But now that Naked 3 is out, it's like $52. I don't know what happened there. It's like they know, these companies know that people are going to buy it regardless of the price. If you have any more questions about this product, or if you want me to even compare it to the ones, the other two, um, go ahead and comment down below. Because I will see how much of you guys actually want me to purchase it in order to do the review or either to compare it. Because I'm just... I'm loving this one because it's completely different from the last two and I already have the basics one so that's pretty much all I need. Anywho, comment, rate, subscribe ladies. I will see you in the next video, whatever that video may be. Bye!